those hurdles, insisting on still playing their best basketball, even when they're shorthanded. And they've had a chance to develop some younger players when the older guys, the established players, were out. Got it. Here's the group that Steve Kerr has on the floor. The core of this team all out there, Curry and Thompson in the backcourt with Green at the four. Andrew Wiggins is out there with Looney. Passes to Garland. Hands it from downtown. Garland's Three got points. 11 in the second half. This is his second three this half. He's getting even more bold at that arc. Golden State moving the ball around. Here's Curry with the three. Trains the three-pointer. Curry's got 30 points. He has a lot of points from long range this half. He's taking advantage of a really tired defense. A three from Garland. The putback controls the rebound and puts it back up and in. He is an elite. And it's Wiggins missing. It's Garland with the ball for Cleveland. Trailing by two. And after this one, they're home against Minnesota. That game is the first and last of their home start. They shoot. Wiggins right side. Mobley with the rebound. Mobley's got rebound number 11 for him here tonight. Garland the pass to Mitchell. Garland against Curry. Now, here's Garland. He's covered closely. Yeah, that gives Garland. them the lead. Garland's got... Then you know for that matchup with Charlotte. That's a contest that could easily go either way. Small mistakes could be the difference. And both teams will need to be at their best. Now, number 12, you're already in the game. We talked about it, Richard. The city of Cleveland eternally grateful to LeBron for winning them a title back in 2016. And so is the franchise, but it's understandable why these players want to be given respect on what they've done for this team since he left, especially considering the recent success they've had with this young crew. Curry's shot is good. You want to know why they win? It's because of his play offense. Yeah, Curry playing in that 2022 game in his home arena in Cleveland and he played for Team LeBron that also helped. Garland has some highlight reel plays. He scored 13 points. It's pretty good coming off the bench. He's proving that he belongs with the NBA's best. The team first mentality of Thompson. When someone on his squad is open, he finds it. Mitchell finds Allen. Here's Struess. And dead on that time. Beautiful shot. Cruz has got four this quarter. And a nice spark for their offense here in the second half. Now above 50% for the game. Looney with the bucket. Looney's got the game tied up here for the Warriors. And so it's Garland who brings up the ball for the Cavaliers. Here's Cruz. Cleveland gets it back. Count that one from Mobley. And he's shaking off that slow start, giving them a boost here in the second. Warriors are gone. Four of ten here in the final period. Not the time to go cold. Thompson passes to Wiggins. Dishes it to Green. Kicks to Kirk from downtown. And again for three. Buries his tenth triple of the game. Unbelievable. Mitchell outside. And the pass to Struess. Outside Garland. Pass to Allen. Thompson against Mitchell. Goes up at the stripe. Warriors with the rebound. They led by as many as 18 points. After this one, they're off to Sacramento to take on the Kings. That will be a getaway game for them. A one-game road trip. Thompson kicks it to Looney. And Curry has it in the corner. Off target with his three. Cavaliers have gone 8 of 14 from the floor here in the fourth quarter. Curry against Garland. And here's Mitchell from the arc. Warriors with the rebound. Curry's got seven rebounds in the game. The shot by Thompson, no good. The Cavaliers trailing. And here is Cruz. Passes it to Mobley. Gets that one to fall. That's his sixth field goal. He has shot the ball 12 times. 
The pass to Struess. He kicks to Mitchell. Lays it up off the glass. Mitchell. Mitchell's got four this quarter. That was a disgusting first half he turned in, but it's been night and day for him after the break. Thompson finds Curry. Pass to Looney. Over Allen. And the Warriors miss again. Right thing there to stay that tight on him and, and really try to keep him out of his comfort zone. And a lot of contact on that. As much. With his percentage in the sky-high range, they've had no choice but to make him their number one option on every trip. And with an update from the sidelines, let's check in with David Aldridge. Hey, guys. Well, Steve Kerr talked to his team during the last time out. He told them this is gut check time. This is when it gets real and when it gets fun. We're here to play in these big moments. Let's make this one count. Kevin, by my count, that's five cliches. Okay, David, much appreciated. What coaches love about Al Down low, Struess. Good, and it's Mitchell picking up the assist. And it's a seven-point Cavalier lead. And a breakdown here now. Wow. Wow. We've got 123 left to play in the final quarter. And Thompson kicks to Curry. The dish to green. Just five to shoot. Mobley with the block. Curry is inside. Guarded by Garland. And you can't get a bigger bucket than that. What a huge play coming through when it matters most. Darius Garland. Personal foul. Third team foul. In a tight game. He is exactly who you wanted at the line. Cleveland's gotten just one of four three pointers to go down for them here in the fourth. Mitchell against Thompson. Struess passes to Mitchell. Off the mark there with the three point shot. And it's the Warriors with the ball. Here's Wiggins. Yes! And what a huge bucket for the two for one here to maximize the clock. Thompson against Mitchell. Counted and the foul. Thompson. And so he's picked up his final foul. And he will sit for the rest of this game. And the Warriors making a change here. Joseph's checked in. Free throw dropped for Mitchell. That's just too much work, really. That's Curry against Garland. Outside Curry. Shot clock at six. This is it to Looney. Here's Wiggins. It's off. Cleveland Cubs. Andrew Wiggins. Two shots. Gets the first. That narrows the gap to one. Both free throws good for Wiggins. You can't have any more pressure on you than he had at the line right there. Shows you. From deep. Got it oh, at the buzzer. That is how the you end of the game. finish it. Yeah. I can't believe it. Now in the world. Concept. Can you sure end the game safely. on a and shot like that? And so it's Cleveland who comes out on top here. They break the hearts of every fan in the building with a dramatic late victory. And, and Kevin, this is the kind of win you have to take a ton of pride in. I mean, they battled with everything they had and came through when the pressure was at its height. Thank you, David. Great interview once again. Well, folks, that's...